What is up, everybody? This is Ryback Stun. We have returned to Marvel Heroes Test Center. We are here with the Punisher 52 review. Um, this is the very early stages of the Punisher 52 review. You'll notice that I've got powers down here with no icons. Uh, because it's Test Center and everything is early on Test Center that I generally do. That's why requ sometimes videos require second uh, looks. Damage is not tuned yet. Please do not come to this video looking to see how much damage a character does. This is for mechanics only. Damage videos will come later if it's a character that I use. Yada yada blah blah. Anyway, uh, three trees, firepower, assault, demolitions. His hero synergy is exactly the same. It is uh, health on enemy defeat and spirit on enemy defeat. He has two mutually exclusive abilities, old painless and the flamethrower, which we will showcase each of those later. Um, some of these powers have abilities depending on what you have with uh, certain of the mutual exclusive powers. Won't showcase those specifically because those won't matter um, really until you actually get into the character and see what you want to do anyway. So... Punisher, weapons-based character, uh, They no, right off the bat you'll notice he doesn't have a rifle right now, he's got pistols. And that's because his main basic is called Trusty Side Arms. Physical damage rate of fire 3.1 per second reduces the cooldown of rapid reload by 1 second if hit with below 25% ammo. That's another thing. Frank Castle now has an ammunition mechanic instead of spirit. Ammunition drains as you use powers that require ammos. Ammo, excuse me, and it regenerates out of combat, but it also can use the rapid reload ability to reload your ammunition, which it has a cooldown for that. We'll get to that later. Anyway, so here's your trusty sidearm. Clank, 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 clank. Awesome. Next, we have full auto, physical damage twice per second, and it has 100 uh, ammo per second. So that's neat. Now let's see. It's supposed to regenerate completely out of combat. Which, let's see what happens here. There we go. So, once you get out of combat for a certain period of time, it will automatically reload all your stuff. So, I'm going to reload. I'm going to reload on the next power, just to showcase to you guys what that's like. Next, we have Fletcher Blast. Actually, I might not. I might go all the way down. Open up with your 12-gauge shotgun, sporting custom rounds containing dozens of tiny darts that shed hostiles, physical damage, rate of fire 2.3, ammo cost. While you have at least one point in flamethrower, it also does uh, physical damage twice per second, so it's a bleed if you do that. It actually might be a burn because of flamethrower. So there's your shotgun blast. Boom. Nice. Next we have burst fire. Physical damage per shot. R uh, rate of fire 2.6. Ammo cost 3. While having at least one point in flamethrower, you get damage against bleeding, burning, and poisoned enemies. So this is like, uh, what's his name's uh, three round burst. You hold it and it just continuously does it. They hopefully can get rid of that hitch like that um, at some point. That's Burst Fire. Headshot. Uh, draw a bead with your sniper rifle to delivering a 50 caliber shot to the dome that cannot miss. It definitely can. Uh, when you have at least one point in Old Painless, it gets an Execute mechanic. 150 ammo cost. A lot of physical damage here. Boom. It takes a little bit to do that. That's a little dangerous. We have Submachine Guns, which has a rate of fire of uh, 13 per second. Ammo cost is 12. While having at least one point in Old Painless, ammo cost reduced by 50% for 5 seconds after using a cooldown power. Wow. That's neat. It drains ammo like a mother. But uh, look at those guns. Deadly guns of gunniness. Those look like uh, Falcon's guns, actually. And next we have Buckshot Blast. Physical damage, vulnerability. Ammo cost is 60 while having at least one point in Old Painless. If you have 100% ammo, deal triple damage. That's pretty cool. Boom! Oh, look at that shotgun blast. It's so cool. All right, that is your firearms. Now we have assault. First one is called tactical roll. It's a basic melee movement. You roll across the field. Boom. Next is your rapid reload. 10% maximum or 10, 10 maximum ammo. Crit hit and brutal strike rating increase. That's your passive. Your active is recover 100% ammo. Excuse me, ammo. Um. The uh, cooldown reduces is 20 seconds, 15 if your ammo is below uh, uh, 25%. And then your ammo cost reduction affixes, which I believe is spirit cost reduction, reduce rapid reload's cooldown instead of reducing ammo cost. So that's actually pretty cool. That might be able to get rapid reload down to a pretty cool, pretty cool situation that you want. Uh, not going to use that just yet. I want to look at something that might re require ammunition. Here we go. Uh, no mercy. Physical damage, damage uh, plus 50% if below 20%, 25% ammo, and it's just stab, stab, stab. So there's that sprint, he runs, because that's what happens, and it doesn't cost him 
anything. And he gets dodge rating. So he's just going to run around one-handing that shotgun like it's nobody's business. There's my ammunition pull for whatever reason. Um, oh, maybe maybe it does drain. Yeah, it looks like it does drain. Anyway, explosive escape. It's a, fi a physical grenade damage. Only fires if ammunition is available. So, oh, that was Firestorm. Or er, Firestar. Different universe for Firestorm. So there's that. There's the grenades. Rapid reload automatically happens. Boom, boom, boom. We have pain tolerance. The old school uh, physical ability that everybody, or passive ability that everybody loved. You ignore 4.5% damage up to 10%, up to 70%, missing health. Oh, excuse me, sorry. You ignored that much damage per 10% missing health, up to 70%. Um, health missing, I believe. Max damage ignored is 31.5%. You have increased defense rating, maximum health, projectile deflection chance. You regenerate 100% of your maximum health when you are defeated. That was the old uh, ultimate. And it has an active effect of being uh, your crowd control and a terrify. Be terrified and take a grenade to the face. I do not have a power there. do not have a power there. All right. Last tree is the demolitions. First thing we've got here is the pineapple grenade. Blow up opposition by rolling an anti-personnel fragment, fragmentation grenade into the fray. Physical damage. Slowish attack speed. Ammo cost of 75. While having one point in flamethrower, it does burn. These are what the old mines used to be. Now it just immediately explodes when it hits somebody. Next, we have volatile nerve gas. Uh, area poison. It poisons people. You can use a flamethrower on the bomb to detonate the fumes to set off a massive explosion. Physical damage, ammo cost 150, cooldown 6 seconds. Ooh. Next we have the signature, which is the rocket launcher. We have a shoulder, uh, shoulder mounted multi-purpose assault weapon that launches a thermobaric warhead capable of leveling a building. Lots of physical damage, 25 second cooldown. Boom. It's supposed to be what the Davy Crockett nuclear device is. Wow. There's an actual model for this. It's a grenade launcher, not a rocket launcher. All right, I'm cool with that. That's because that's what that was. All right. Next, we have a flashbang. Terrifies enemies, weakens physical damage. Ooh, Ooh look at that. That was beautiful. All right. So, you've seen all the... Uh, you haven't seen any effects of the other stuff, but you know what they do, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to start out with this ability with old, uh, old Painless. And I'm going to stick it on the right clicker. Did I do that right? Yes. So it's a heavy weapon. Physical damage per hit for 50 hits. Gives you a 60% damage shield wall channeling. You have a 4.9 second channel. It's got a 20 second cooldown, 200% ammo cost. So it's like a second signature. Oh, nice. Very nice. Boom. That's how that works. And you get your other stuff based on old painless effects. Nice and neat. Next, I'm just going to put the one point in a flamethrower. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to activate this. Oh, I can't activate a spec on combat. There we go. We're going to go ahead. So the flamethrower is also a heavy weapon. It's 20 second cooldown, channel second four time, 60% damage shield while channeling. Uh, physical damage twice per second. Let's go, baby. Ah, uh, animation for the flamethrower isn't there all just yet, but... There's your flamethrower as it does massive damage to the enemies around you. Ha ha ha. Let's check out the ultimate. It's the battle van. Haven't seen what this done yet, so I'm going to wait. I'm, in fact, going to turn off Firestar really quick. And let's get in the battle van. And you control... So this is just all the stuff, all the weapons that it does. You also control the, uh, the turret. You can see I'm moving it around... I can't move the battle van itself, actually. But he gets in the van, does his stuff, and bugs the hell out. So, there you go. Some animation stuff needs to be finished. That's a Punisher. Um, I don't even know what build I would go, because I don't think that Anthua has done any changes to the... No, it doesn't look like... I mean, there's been changes to specifically to some things. But, uh, no, maybe there's been changes. I don't know just yet. We'll have to take a look at some stuff. Uh, you take a look when it, everything hits live when Antho is finished with all the things that uh, the that dev needs to do. So uh, that's the Punisher. He does punishing things. Looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know exactly how the build is going to work in terms of damage because remember, damage tuning is not finished yet. So once it hits live, it'll be finished. Yada yada blah blah. Anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did showcasing it to you. Remember to like and comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Tumblr, at Ryback Stun. More videos as they come along, and with that, this is Ryback Stun, signing out.